Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we're going to look at weighted routing policies and it is a lab so you will need to log into the AWS console. Uh, but before we do that, let's have a look at what happens. So if our user is going to hellocloudgurus.com, they're going to resolve uh, that DNS name to root 53. And then root 53, you can actually configure weighting. So you could send 20% of your traffic to US East 1, for example, or you could send 80% of your traffic to US West 1. Um, so you might wanna do this um, because perhaps uh, you run a business out of California and 80% of your um, orders come from California itself. Um, so you wanna do it on the West Coast, um, but you also do, let's say mail order and you do send packages across uh, the United States. So um, maybe 20 percent of your traffic you want to serve out of east one as well um, that's one example uh, where you would actually use this uh, more commonly is where you're a and b testing um, your website so maybe you're um, you know redoing your website and you've invested a lot of money in a new uxer um, and you're trying to have the goal of creating more sales now before you actually um, you know flip your production website over to the new website you want to actually see if that new website is going to uh, result in um, an increase in sales so you might send 80% to your production website and 20% uh, to the website you're testing. And keep in mind that um, it doesn't have to be two different regions. It can just be two elastic load balances in the same region. So you could send 80% of your traffic um, to uh, US West 1 uh, behind one load balancer and then 20% of your traffic to US East 1 behind another load balancer. So that's all weighted routing is. It allows you to split your traffic based on different weights assigned. Uh, and it does this over a period of time. It can be a little bit frustrating if you sit there hitting refresh and uh, expecting 30% of the time for it to go to one ELB and 70% of the time to go uh, to another. It doesn't do this over um, you know, a few minutes. It does this over the length of the day. And you'll be able to see that when we go into the lab. So let's go over to the AWS console. Okay, so I'm here in the AWS console. I'm just gonna go over to route 53. And another thing you should always notice is Route 53 is a global service. It doesn't matter whether you're in Sydney region or the, the London region or in Northern Virginia. Um, this is a global service, so it applies all across uh, the world, very similar to IAM. You know, when you create new users, they are global users. So we'll go into our Hello Cloud Gurus domains. So we've still got these uh, two um, DNS records. I've actually just deleted the last simple one, so you can go ahead and do that if you want. Uh, you probably should actually. Um, so I'm going to go in and create a record set. I'm just going to use it as the naked domain name. So hellocloudgurus.com. And then the type, I'm going to make an alias and I'm going to get it to resolve to my London ELB. And it's just taking a little bit of time to load. And there we go. So uh, my London Elastic Load Balancer and the routing policy, I'm going to do it as weighted. And then in here, um, it says wait. So if you hover over it, you can see that you can set values between zero to 255. And essentially it's gonna add up all the weights and then assign a percentage. And that's how it's gonna distribute the traffic. So if you do a weight of um, one and three, that means that the sum is going to be four. So 25% of your traffic will go to one and 75% of your traffic will go to three. I like to work in hundreds just to make it easier. So um, let's say I want a weight of 70 to go to London um, and then in here I'm just going to call it my London site and then I'm going to leave everything else as default go ahead and hit create now right now this will even though we have a 70% or 70 in there um, the sum is 70 so it's just going to send everything to London so we can check this by just going to hellocloudgurus.com and here I am just hitting refresh and you can see it's going between the two different uh, web servers in my London region so now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new record set. I'm going to leave it as the naked domain name. I'm going to make an alias, and then I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna send it to Sydney. I'm gonna change the uh, routing policy to weighted. And in here, I'm gonna set a weight of 30 and we'll call it my Sydney site. I'm gonna leave everything else as default and hit create. And so now you can see that we've got the same name. We've got the weight of 70 and a weight of 30. This one's going to London, this one's going to Sydney. So if I come back here and refresh, at the moment it's sending everything to London and you can sit here repetitively refreshing for you know three, four, five minutes. Eventually it's gonna go over to Sydney and it will be there for a length of time. Then it will go back over to London, etc. And I've just hit refresh and now I'm in Sydney and that took about five minutes. 
Um, now, what could be causing this is, um, you know, you, you're only seeing it from your point of view, um, whereas Route 53 is viewing it globally. So, um, you know, as people do try and connect into your website, 70% of the traffic will definitely go to London, 30% will definitely go to Sydney. But because your um, ISP is caching the DNS, uh, you know, the IP address for this DNS server, um, it might be caching it locally upstream so that you don't actually, um, you know, get the weighted routing in effect uh, until you hit refresh um, after the TTL has expired. That could be definitely one of the reasons for it. So just remember that Amazon take a global view of this. So 70% of your traffic will definitely be sent to London. 30% will definitely be sent to Sydney. Where you're going to see this in the exams is exactly that. Probably where your A and B testing will be an exam scenario. So you want to send a percentage of your, your traffic to the new website before you take it out of um, you know out of development and put it into production um, so weighted routing is absolutely perfect for that okay so that's it for this lab guys if you have any questions please let me know if not feel free to move on to the next lecture thank you